Hey everyone! This is a video tutorial to help you understand how resonance can affect the pKa of a compound. So in this case here we're going to be looking at carboxylic acid versus an alcohol. So what we're going to first do as always is you want to focus on the atom that's going to be losing the hydrogen and thereby gaining the negative charge. So in this case over here this oxygen would lose this hydrogen and it would get a negative charge and this oxygen here would lose the hydrogen and it would develop a negative charge. Now we need to understand which of those would be more stable. Remember, you have a stronger acid when it forms a more stable conjugate base. So if I take a look at this case here, this oxygen does not have to hold the negative charge all by itself. Whenever you have electrons delocalized, that's a very, very stabilizing feature. So if we look at this through resonance, we know that we could push these electrons down there, making that the double bond, and then we could push these electrons up here. What that means then is that that negative charge is now spread over two oxygens. It's spread on this one and that one because of the resonance. So because this is spread, this is actually a very stable compound. Whereas in the case of alcohol, we can't push these electrons down because this R group can't break any of its sigma bonds. So this cannot happen. Meaning that this oxygen is left holding the negative charge all by itself, which is not as stable as when this oxygen is able to share with another oxygen as well. So in this case here, we know that this would be more acidic than this, and that's because resonance allows for the electrons to be delocalized and that stabilizes the conjugate base. When your conjugate base is stabilized, you have a very strong acid.